class. Uh, welcome to the second eight-week semester. I'm Coach Nash, and this is our 356, right? This is our core conditioning, uh, trim and tone. Um, it's, the focus is core. It's a trim and tone class. Um, currently, I'm actually teaching a core conditioning class, so this is right up my alley, and I'm excited to teach this class with you, for you, uh, this semester. So, just briefly, I wanted to go over a few things. First of all, my name is Coach Nash. Second of all, this is the backdrop for the class. It'll be out of my home. So the uh, sessions will be asynchronous, right? And you'll have the entire week to get four sessions done. Um, it's a lot of work in the week, being that you have to watch me and apply what is uh, being taught within the class uh, four times during the week. So, you know, it's really important that you find a location uh, in your home where you know that you won't be distracted and that you can get the workout done uh, in a timely manner. Um, I would suggest that you do these separately and don't try to double up uh, on workouts per week. So spread it out however you need to. The, the workouts will typically be about an hour um, so just making sure that you're able to spread those out during the week to get them done, okay? Um, you'll see a bunch of equipment next to me, and so if, these are just examples of some things that you're going to be able to find around your home if you're doing your workout in your home uh, that you can use uh, when I'm actually uh, using a piece of equipment. I'll say at the beginning of the session, if you have something like this, uh, go ahead and go find this in your house. If, you're, if you happen to be maybe at a gym and you're doing the workout at a gym, obviously you're gonna have access to so many other pieces of, of equipment, so, which is wonderful, right? But I just wanted to introduce some of the uh, pieces of equipment that we might be using or will be using. Um, so dumbbells, obviously dumbbells, um, depending on you know your strength, uh, it's up to you what kind of weight you'd like to use. I'm not going to use any more than five pounds because of the type of exercises that we're going to do in here is mainly core. So five pound, four pound, three pound dumbbells are going to be adequate. Okay. So that's something that you can use. If you don't have dumbbells, but you happen to have some weight plates that go on a barbell, um, you know, or something like that, that you can use these as well. So these are like little two and a halfers that I might use um, if I don't have anything lighter than the dumbbells. Um, if you have a stretchy band um, or a rubber ring, which I have, uh, we're going to be using this as well. And so a stretchy band will work, but also just a small towel, right? So working on some isometric resistance exercises. So a small hand towel will suffice. Um, some of the other, other work we might be doing where we're really focusing on our backs um, as well as our hips and I'll ask that we support our backs with uh, maybe a lumbar support and pillows are absolutely sufficient, okay? So I, you'll notice I have just some small lumbar pillows uh, but even like a small square pillow or even just a roll like a half a regular bed pillow folded in half will do okay and then we might another another thing we might actually be working on is just again more back strengthening and postural work and so this is um a swiffer <laughs> so i just took the swift actual swiffer of the end of the pole off and we might be using, I'll ask you to maybe find that some kind of rod or bar, really lightweight, that we can work on some postural exercises, something that you'll be able to use to hold your hands on. And if you don't have one of those, if you happen to have kids and you have a baseball bat, that's something that we could actually use as well, okay? Or a broomstick or something like that. So. You'll notice also that I'm kneeling on a mat, so we will, um, I will be doing quite a bit of my workouts on a mat. So it's really up to you if you want to buy a mat and, uh, you know, you can get them for pretty cheap anywhere. So uh, sporting goods stores, major 
uh, you know, uh, supermarkets carry them, but sticky mats are fine. This is a little bit of a denser mat. It's a matte Pilates uh, mat, but yeah. So this is the environment that I'm gonna be teaching in. And um, obviously you're gonna be able to read the syllabus and see how everything will flow throughout the rest of the semester. Uh, but everything is obviously on Canvas and you'll see everything under assignments. And we'll always start with a warm up and a focus. I'll let you know what we're, our focus is uh, today. And then we'll always finish with a cool down. Um, like I said, about an hour um, will be the typical workouts, okay? And there will be just a different emphasis or a different focus each time. So it, it we may not just be, you know, abs and backs one day. We might be doing something completely different, which would be, you know, still along the same lines of core conditioning, okay? Uh, trim and tone, we're not doing a lot of cardio and we're not doing a lot of lifting. So we will use resistance weights and we will be, you know, moving a little bit on our mats or in the area that I'm teaching, but it's not gonna be high intensity um, and not really getting that heart rate up too high, okay? So anyway, just wanted to introduce myself and let you know that this is the environment I'll be in teaching. So you just kind of get familiar with that. And if you ever have any questions, obviously reach out to me through Canvas and we'll start our, um, our first session on Thursday, which will be our uh, self-assessment. And that assessment is just gonna see, you know, what at this point, um, where are your fitness goals and, or what are your fitness goals and uh, where are you right now as far as uh, the testing that will be done, okay? so. Uh, one class session this week and then just make sure you thoroughly read the syllabus so you're you have a better understanding of what's going on for the semester but it's eight weeks it's four days per week you have the entire week it's asynchronous you do it on your own time at whatever days whatever times and um, you'll have all that specific information about how you uh, watch the videos and then what do you do afterwards so that will be within the body of the syllabus so Make sure you read that. And there's also that participation waiver form that you'll need to electronically sign and get back to me. And then we'll get started the following week uh, with our sessions, okay? So I'm excited about this semester. I hope you are, this is a big class. Um, even though we don't see each other, I have, gosh, there's like 37 of you right now. So um, obviously if there's any questions, just reach out to me and I'll get back to you, okay? All right, looking forward to the semester. Bye.